Hey everyone, it's Simplicity and welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to be doing the Fields of Mysteria demo. So I've heard there's quite a bit of content in here. This will be my very first look. I saw some other people like mentioning it and how it was going to be like one of the top games. So I was like, you know what? I'm curious. Let's go ahead and look. So that is exactly what we are going to go ahead and do today. Island. Still working, sis? I'm assuming his name is Island. Adeline. Oh, Island. I didn't realize how late it had gotten. I thought you could use a nice hot cup of coffee. Thank you. So how is the town revitalization plan coming along? It's nearly there, I think. I've cataloged the earthquake's damage, listed out the various repairs necessary, and even made plans to replenish our emergency stockpile by the end of spring. The only thing we're missing now is the help to see it through. I love this art style, it's so pretty. With mother and father called away to the capital and people leaving after the earthquake, there certainly are fewer helping hands around. Only we could attract new villagers to move here. Mistralia is such a beautiful place. The small town charm, the rich history of the area, the rolling farmland. That's it! The old farm south of town. Why don't we send a notice to the Adventurers Guild in the capital? Surely someone out there will agree to aid the town in exchange for land with such potential. That's a good idea. I'll get started on it. Thank you, Island. I wonder who will answer the call. I guess we'll have to wait and see. I'm going to assume that it's probably us. Okay, this is cute. So this is the character customization panel. Um, so it looks like there's a f Oh, I like that. Okay, so you can like click and see like the color options. My hair is probably the most like this. Kind of similar to this actually. Or would it be... No. I'd say my hair color is closest to this. And then for eyes, we have a few different options here. Droopy eyes. Uh, basic eyes. Those are just look like the closed eyelashes. Serious eyes. Small eyes. I still like the looks of the droopy ones, I think, but we'll test out and see. Yeah, those ones look like they're too big. Um, sorry, I'm trying to see, like, what blue. I think we'll go with this one, maybe. I feel like that looks okay. Hmm. I think I like the droopy eyes. I think that's what we're gonna go with. And then, for skin tone, I am the palest pinkish skin tone you could possibly get. So we're gonna go with, like, this one. Uh, looks like we have some outfit options here. This looks cute, a little overall skirt. Normally I like the yellow. But I think I kind of actually, I like the brown for this as well, but I think I kind of like the green. And then we've got a few different shoe options. We have short boots or normal boots. These are cute. I like these. Let's see. So I am just kind of like testing out different colors. It looks like the come in like similar colors. I'm going to change my name. So we're going to be Lisa. And I like this. Those pronoun options in the demo. Um, For my birthday. So I would technically be fall. I think based on like the Stardew one, I'd be like fall 17, but I'm gonna go with fall 16 just because my birthday's on the 16th and I feel weird doing like the day after. And then for a farm name, let's do, I think we're gonna go with like Sweet Pea Ranch. I don't know, something just a little bit different. Okay, and then, the oh, there's also cloth shoes. Oh, these are cute. I like those. 
I just don't know what I like more. I think I kind of like the cloth shoes more, to be completely honest. And these are the pant options, obviously. I'm not going to use any of them because I went with a dress. But, like, there's some cute stuff. And I there's, like, this little, like, modest dress here, too. And a sleeveless dress. But I think I like the overall dress skirt kind of thing. I feel like it's the cutest. But, I honestly, I think my heart is set on the green. So, we're going to go ahead and start the game. Okay, this is cute. I like the art style. Hello there. Oh, hello. You're kind of intriguing. Who are you? Other than your name is Bala Bellor. Oh. Oh, he does a little hop. Didn't expect to see anyone else out this way. The roads have been a little mess since the earthquake. I'm Bellor. Baller. I don't know, a traveling merchant. Pleased to meet you. Let me guess. You'll hear at Lady Adeline's request. She mentioned someone had taken her up on her offer. Uh, let's go with the capable adventurer. That makes us look like less of a freeloader. We sure could use one. There's a lot to do to get Miss Julia back on its feet. I'll walk with you the rest of the way, if you don't mind the company. No wagons can get through since the bridge collapsed, so I've had to carry what I can on foot. Great. Let's go. Okay. Seems like we are, you know, potentially making a new friend. Oh. Okay, well that's kind of cute that he, like, stops and waits. I like that little added touch. Woo! We should be able to get... Should be able to make it before it gets dark. Come on, we'll get head straight to the new homestead. Homestead. All of a sudden, I can't read. <laughs> Is this the farm? Lord Island. Look who I found out at the edge of the forest. Lisa, I presume. Welcome, welcome. I'm Island. It's wonderful to meet you. You're in good hands, Lisa. I'm off to the inn. It's been a long day and I need a hot meal. I'll see you around. Okay, well, I like I like him. What do you think? Nice, isn't it? You're right outside of town. Great soil for farming. This is a cute little house. And look at this house. Four stout walls with a rich history. Let's go inside, shall we? J just a minute. Okay, well, apparently we arrived a little bit too early by the seams of things. It uh, appears we're not quite ready for you. But not to worry. I'm sure she'll only need a moment. Um, Let's go with, should we go in and help? No need. Oh, he's like awkwardly, like nervously laughing. The heck is going on? You must be Lisa. I'm Adeline. Thank you so much for answering my request. My brother and I are so excited to have a real adventurer here to help the town. I hope you like your new farm. It has a lot of potential, don't you think? I mean, from what I can see, yeah. Why don't you come inside? Is it ready now? I'm going to assume yes if she's inviting us in. Welcome to your new home. Let's go with how cozy, although that was very fast. I'm glad you think so. Would you like a quick tour of the room? I mean, I don't feel like I need one, but we'll say yes, just to be polite. This here is your diary. You can write in it when you want to record your story. This, of course, is your new bed. Make sure you get to sleep by 2 a.m. each day to keep your stamina up. Okay. 
We've also put this calendar up for you. You can use it to check when Miss Julia holds its festivals and to check when everyone in town's birthdays are. The storage chest here is made by Miss Julia's very own carpenter. Is it Reese? You can store items here if your bag starts to get too full. And that's about it for your tour. I thought you might be hungry when you got here, so I stopped by the inn and picked up a bowl of their famous vegetable soup. Well, I'm sure you want out for me a long day. We won't keep you up. Welcome to Mystery, Elisa. We're so glad to have you. Let's meet up tomorrow so we can start discussing our plans for the town restoration. This is cute. I like this a lot so far. And it seems like our character does as well, and it looks like we are immediately going to get some sleep. Which, I mean, we did have a long day. Completely understandable. Welcome to Fields of Mystery. The demo features the first three days of game with some adjustments. Okay. I probably won't do all three days, but we'll see. There's some tools and bonus items in your storage chest to get you started. Mines have been unlocked early so you can explore them. Two magic spells have been unlocked for you to try. Full restore has been plant pinned for you. Ghost spell can be pinned. Okay. Give me enough, I think. Okay, so controls are pretty easy. Um, What do we have? We have a one pickaxe. A one net. A one fishing rod, stone, wood, bag upgrade, and a mana mana potion. I'm gonna take the bag upgrade. I feel like, you know, that's probably a good thing to have immediately. So let's, oh. Do I have to hold it? Okay, so you do have to hold down the button. Which, this demo is only available to the, I think it's the 17th. So I am posting this a little bit late, but it should still give you enough time to explore it if you wanted to. But I'm just going to go ahead and organize my inventory a little bit and move that up. I don't know if I necessarily want to use the potion quite yet, so I think we might just leave it there. Hello. Celine. Ah, hello. You must be Lisa. I'm Celine. It's so nice to meet you. I live in the cottage north of here. I'm so excited that we'll be neighbors. In fact, I brought you a little housewarming, um, field warming present. Here's a hoe. You'll need it to till your fields. I love gardening myself, so I have this extra one laying around. Well, that's helpful. Thank you. If you want to expand your field size, though, you'll need a shovel. They are available at my family's general store. And here are three bags of tulip seeds to get you started. Our store also carries a selection of other seeds, so be sure to stop by. I hope you'll consider growing lots of flowers. I do like flowers, so we'll say that we love them. Oh, I'm so glad. You know, Miss Julia has a rich horticultural history. Oh, we're being interrupted by something. Now, who is this? Look at how cute the horse is, number one, but who are you? Why are you on my property, Hayden? Morning, neighbor. The name's Hayden. I run Sweetwater Farm to the west. You don't gotta tell me your name, Lisa. You're already the talk of the town. Hayden? You almost galloped straight into poor Lisa. Ah, don't mind my horse. He just likes meeting new folks as much as I do. What a laugh. Uh, the pleasure's all mine. A farmer after my own heart. Here, I brought you a little something. Take this watering can. You'll need it to water your crops every day if you want them to grow big and strong. People in this game are very nice. Here are three bags of turnip seeds. Turnips are good raw and they're even better cooked. The whole town will surely appreciate more shipments of fresh produce. It's been a good while since I've been out here. Think she'll have gotten overgrown. You need any pointers on getting started with your field? I'll say that I need the tips, but I have played Stardew, so I kind of, you know, have an idea. Use your hoe on cleared things, plant seed on tilled soil, water every day, harvest. Purchase a shovel from the general store when you want to expand. 
So I'll cook and feed you crops to your animals. Hmm. I wonder what feeding them crops would do. No, don't be shy, Lisa. Come by any time if you want to chat. I'd love to introduce you to all my animals. I'm sure you must be eager to meet up with Adeline. Just head north of here and the road will take you right into town. Do we already have three crops? It kind of looks like we might. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, because it looks like we already have a few crops down here, but I kind of want to clear up the tilled soil area. Um, I do have to kind of like still, you know, find out what the controls are for everything. I didn't fully look into everything, but it looks like you can click with your mouse and it does things. Um, but I'm just going to quickly hop in. Okay, let me see. Okay, so use tool as T. Easy enough, I can do that. I absolutely did that the long way, though. Okay. Let's just go ahead and remove some of the stone. I don't think we have anything to remove the, like, weeds. That what I, At least from, like, what I've seen. But we can go ahead and water whatever these are that have already been planted here. And then I should probably go ahead and plant the other seeds that we received today too. Um, but yeah, like I don't know how to get rid of this little like weed thing. So maybe there's not a tool for that yet. I honestly, I do not know. But here's my little like sword, which is cool. Um, break small rocks, catch bugs, cast a range of six, planting seeds, water plants. So yeah, I don't know if we have anything necessarily, but I think I kind of just want to maybe just plan my farm out and around this little weed maybe. Because if I am only playing like the first day, I don't feel like it's all too big of a deal. So let me just go ahead and plant all of these seeds here. And then if anybody's like interested in seeing me play day two and three, I will probably also film those. So I may post them, but I also kind of want to just like not have a super long video for my very first one. It kind of depends on how long the first day is going to be, but I'm pretty sure you can like save and go back in for the demo too. So we'll see how this goes, but okay. So they said to head north of here and it, it will take us into town. So I'm assuming that means that we have to go ahead and cross this bridge. And continue heading upwards. Um, north town, east and road, carpenter shop. And then like the mines are to the west. Ooh. Okay, so there's a map. And you can see where everybody is on the map, which I think is kind of cool. Okay, so this is like a lot more in depth than I would have expected. What is over here? This looks like Celine. How are things on the farm, Lisa? Settled in yet? Remember I'm up the road. Yes, I know. I did just come to say hello. So it looks like we have to go up a little bit more until we find Celine, which is totally fine. Uh, there's somebody with purple hair over there that I'm curious about, but I know that we should probably go ahead and meet Celine anyways. Hi there, Lisa. I was hoping I'd run into you. Well, we had a meeting, did we not? Your timing is perfect. I'm sure you're eager to start helping Miss Julia and its citizens. So I'm here to tell you all about our town's request board. Come with me. As the name implies, villagers post their requests here every day. You'll receive rewards whenever you complete them. Okay. It's a great way to earn money, equipment, and most importantly, renown. Well, let's just say that we can't wait to get started. I'm so glad. Allow me to explain the basics of Renown. As you know, Mistrelia is just one of the many towns that make up the kingdom of Ald Aldelia. All of them receive a town rank according to the Renown level. Towns with a higher town ranking enjoy more popularity and more support from the capital. Okay. Mistrelia's Renown level was improving prior to the earthquake. Since then, though, we're down an entire town rank. As daughter and heiress of Mistrelia's Baron, improving this situation is my highest priority. 
With your help, we'll repair the earthquake's damage, raise Monsieur's town rank, and put this village back on the map. Why don't you go ahead now and accept my first request? It's one I just put up for you. Okay. So she's kind of like going to lead us onto a mission, it seems like. Okay, so this one's hers. I'm sure you've already met some of your neighbors already. Introduce yourself to all the townsfolk. You get potato seeds and money. I can do that, I think. Perfect. That was easy, right? Sure. Easy enough to accept it, yeah? Depending on how long it takes. I'm sure you want to meet your new neighbors as much as they want to meet you. Well, nobody seems as eager as Celine and Hayden. And as you get to know them better, your journal can keep track of your relationships with them and even document their favorite gifts. Uh, let's go ahead and ask her what she likes. Well, tulips are nice, and they are in season right now. I hope you'll be growing some on your farm. I did just plant some this morning. You can view the map in your journal. It should give you a good idea where people are. Isn't that helpful? It is very helpful, actually. Each time you meet someone, it'll update. You can think of this as the first step on our path to restoring the town. Isn't this exciting? Come talk to me once you're done meeting everyone. Okay. Sounds easy enough to me. So the very first task, similar to start do, is to go ahead and meet everybody. So here is the main part of town. It looks like it's very pretty and detailed on the map. But I think I'm going to just kind of like refer to that to see where I need to go to meet people. So this looks like... Hello there, you must be the new face in town. So this is Holt. Nice to meet you, Lisa. I'm Holt. I've been wondering who'd move into that old farm. Ahaha. Uh, let's go and peas to meet you too. That's a good one. Thanks. Anywho, my wife Nora and I run the general store. Our girls Celine and Dell help out as well. Stop by if you ever need supplies. Is there anybody back here? Why can't I just like walk right into the house? Okay, so it seems like I can just walk right into the rooms. Ah, you must be Lisa. Welcome to Mysteria. I'm Nora. I run the general store in town with my husband and our daughters. She's very pretty. I'm also head of the Chamber of Commerce and the Saturday Market. Though, unfortunately, the Saturday Market has been on hiatus since the earthquake caused the bridge in town to collapse. Is that the one that we jumped across? Valor is currently the only merchant that even attempts to trip these days, and he has to do it all on foot. Uh, let's say we think we can help with the broken bridge, maybe? Because I feel like a Saturday Market is kind of self-explanatory. Oh, right. Adeline did mention you'd be helping the town in exchange for the farm. If the broken bridge were repaired, all sorts of merchants could resume bringing their wares to town on Saturdays. You'd love it. Anyway, if you need anything in the way of seeds and supplies, please stop by the store anytime. Okay, she seems fairly nice. So that is one person down. So we can go ahead and... Oh, okay, so this is like the little general store area. So we got potato seeds, cabbage seeds, strawberries, daffodil, tulip, cherry, and lemons. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, now where do I need to head? Where is somebody else that I can meet that is new? It looks like there's a bunch of people over to the left. So maybe we will go ahead and head over this way. Um... I'm trying to kind of like familiarize myself a little, so let's go in here and see who's in here. Okay, so this is the inn. Oh, hello. You must be the new farmer. She's very pretty. I like her. My name is Lena. My family owns the Sleeping Dragon Inn. It's a pleasure to meet you, Lisa. So what brings you to Mistria, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, let's go ahead and say that we dreamed of starting a farm. That's so lovely. I'm excited to see what types of produce you'll grow. I have a passion for food, especially when it's locally sourced. Well, I hope you'll stop by and try my cooking sometime. I'll be looking forward to it. She seems fairly kind. I like her. Okay, let's go ahead and see who else we can go ahead and meet in town. Looks like there's somebody up here as well. Hello there. Well, you must be a new farmer. Adeline mentioned you'd be arriving soon. Delighted to meet you, Lisa. You can call me Josephine. Though I also go by Joe. 
I lend the sleeping dragon in with my husband, Hemlock, and our children, Lena, Maple, and Luke. Have you met them all yet? Stop by any time, dear. You're always welcome, whether you need a meal or just want to chat. It'd be my pleasure to serve up either. People are so nice in this game, I love it. Okay, so there is a bunch of people over here. Hi, are you the new farmer? My name's Maple. Where did you live before you came here? Have you ever been to the capital? She is very, like, curious. I feel like she's, like, a very curious character. I don't know. I feel like she's gonna be one that asks, like, a lot of questions. That's where the royal family lives, you know. You can ask me anything. I know all about them. Okay. Hello. Are you the one moving to the old farm? I'm Del. That place is haunted, you know. Haunted with monsters. I swear I saw one hiding behind a tree. Let me know if you have any trouble and I can take care of them for you. Okay. I think that's, uh, Celine's little sister, maybe? Hello. Do you like bugs? Uh, not really, but we'll just say yes for the sake of it. Excellent. My name's Luke. I'm so excited to have a fellow insect enthusiast in town, finally. Wait until I tell my sisters. Okay, well, are you not standing with one of your sisters currently? Now, who do we have here? Are you the new farmer everyone's been talking about? I mean, I guess. Great to meet you, Lisa. I'm Hemlock. If you ever need a good meal, a cold drink, or some good company, be sure to stop by the Sleeping Dragon Inn. There's always a cauldron of hearty soup kept hot for anyone who wants a bowl. Okay, they all seem like they're very sweet. I don't know, I think I'm going to end up liking this game a lot. Okay, let's go ahead and navigate our way. See who else we can go ahead and meet. Um... Oh, there's somebody over here. Hey, you must be Lisa, right? Nice to meet you. Welcome to Mistria. I'm... I'm gonna call him Lise. I run the carpenter shop with my Uncle Landon. If you have any interest in crafting, let me know. I'd be more than happy to give you some tips. Um... Hmm. Let's go with what kind of crafting. Well, woodworking is my specialty. I'm sure you'll want to make things like fences and furniture for your farm, right? Feel free to use the crafting station near the town square. If you stop by the carpenter's shop, you can also purchase some crafting recipes if you like. Okay. Anyway, good luck getting settled in. Let me know if you need anything. Why is everybody so kind? I love that. That's very sweet. Okay, is there anybody like up here maybe? Um, okay, there might be, s oh, there's two people over here. Whoa, are you the new farmer everyone's been talking about? The one who's come to help out the town? That's super cool. Nice to meet you, Lisa. The name's Ulrich? My brother and I live in the blacksmiths. I hope we can be friends. I like these people, like... They're very, like, attractive characters, and they're kind. March. The name's March. What do you want? Oh. We'll go Charming. He's gonna be the one that doesn't like us. You must be this farmer folks are talking about. Regardless of what Adeline said, we don't need an outsider to come in and solve our problems for us. Yep, he isn't gonna like us. I, we have everything under control. Just don't get in the way. I am going to be determined to make him like me. That is going to be the way that I am with this. I am going to make sure that Marge ends up liking me. Who is this? Hello, you must be the new farmer. Lisa, isn't it? So this is Valen. Me? I'm the town's doctor. I run a clinic. No need for formalities, though. You can just call me Valen. Let's go. Go with it. It's nice to meet you, Valen. 
You too, Lisa. I hope you're getting settled in all right. Planning a farm is hard work. Be sure that you get plenty of sleep and eat well to keep your energy up. I feel like Valen kind of gives off, like, they, them pronouns, and I'm here for it. Okay, let's see. I, that's one thing I kind of wish is, like, we could see their pronouns whenever you're talking to them. That'd be nice. Okay, let's go ahead and we will head up here and see if there's anybody inside. Oh, hello. I, I'm ignoring you. There's a puppy. So this is Dozy. His collar says Dozy. Let's go. Good boy, Dozy. Dozy wags his tail. Okay, I love that. Oh, hello. So you're the newcomer. She is stunning. Is that right? Well, Lisa, you can call me Juniper. I recently opened the one and only bathhouse in this backwater village. Uh, let's go to a backwater bathhouse, eh? Aside from catering to the Gubby townsfolk, I have my own reasons for being here. I feel like she doesn't look like she fits in with the rest. Anyway, please stop in often. By the looks of it, you could certainly use it. That sounds kind of like an insult. Oh, but she finds it funny, so maybe it was meant as a joke? Okay. Well, we're just going to go ahead and keep looking to see who else we can find, I guess. Alright, let's go ahead and go for a walk. Um... Oh. I'm so happy you've taken over the old farm, Lisa. It was long neglected. I can't wait to see what you do with it. Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see how that goes there. Adeline, what is this? Oh. Okay, I think I just used, like, one of the spells we were given. I think. Okay, so there's one... There's, like, so many spots around here. But it looks like we have a few people we have left to meet. How many do we have? Oh, that's not that bad. We're almost there. I think we can definitely get this done, I think. But here's the kind of little journal. I do not have any heart levels with anybody, but I'm assuming little pink spots are like... Maybe like level progression? But you can see who you've talked to and who you gifted today, but we are getting fairly close at least to meeting everybody. I just kind of have to find out where I'm going. So that's to the west of the farm. Okay. Geography and like navigational stuff is not my strong suit. So there's going to be some like discrepancies with me with that, but I'm going to do my best. Once I kind of like get used to the map, I think it'll be okay. But again, this is just the demo. So... Okay, and I don't think I can cut through there like I was hoping I could. But yeah, this is just the demo, so... At least it's like giving me a little bit of practice if I decide to go ahead and actually buy the game. But so far, so good. I've been enjoying it a lot. Let's go ahead and go up here. Okay. I feel like I'm kind of like headed towards the middle of nowhere, but maybe that means we're going in the right direction. Okay, so this is the Narrows by the looks of it. Okay, so this is Hayden. How's the soil quality on the farm? I don't really know. I've only planted things today. Okay. So, I think I can come down here maybe? Okay, so this is Sweetwater Farm, which means that I am in the wrong spot, because that would mean that this is Hayden's farm. So I need to go back up right where I came from. I was thinking because he was there, like, that was going to be, like, his farmland or something. But let's go ahead and head over this way, maybe? So I'm assuming that this is a bug in the water. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch it. I'm kind of like tempted. But I don't think I'm going to be able to. But we might be able to catch our very first fish here. Let's see how easy fishing is in this game. Okay, one. Two. Three. Okay, so it gives you... Oh. Okay, well that's like super easy fishing. I kind of like that though. You just kind of have to like make sure that you click at the right time. And it kind of pops up. It's similar to kind of like 
Animal Crossing fishing, I feel like. But we have a smallmouth, a bass, and a trout. Okay, we officially caught two fish, I can at least say that. Um, there is another fish over here. But I am so tempted to see if I can get this water beetle. But I am almost certain I'm not meant to. Because it doesn't come close enough. And like, it moves very quickly. So I'm going to guess that I'm probably not going to be able to catch that one. Um... Okay, so it looks like I need to keep heading upwards until I find a building. Let's see. Okay, so it's not over this way because this is one of the exits. So let's go ahead and head up this way. Oh, maybe it's this building right here. This is very fancy. Okay, so this is the museum. Hello, are you the new farmer everyone's been talking about? I kind of like him. I hear you'll be helping to raise mystery as renown. How splendid. It seems we share a common goal. You can call me Errol. I'm the curator of Mysteria's brand new museum. I hope you'll consider donating some items. It's a great way to earn renown. You'll even receive rewards for each collection you complete. Okay. Let's support each other's efforts for Mysteria, eh? I'll be rooting for you, Lisa. Why is everybody in this game so sweet? Okay, so it doesn't appear that I currently have anything that I can donate. So the two fish that we have caught are currently no good. But maybe we will be able to find something at some point. I see a couple of little like statues over here, so what's up? Oh. I think we may have found the mine. Which like, I am kind of tempted to go in and see. But I feel like I probably shouldn't okay let me see if i can catch this fish now i'm just curious to see like what it's like to donate and how that goes what is this a carp oh is that little thing at the top i think that there's like a little indicator if it needs to go in the museum or not so it doesn't look like i can currently use the stairs the western ruins Okay, I'm going to take this flower, a snowdrop anemone, rare and beautiful flower. It's rare and yet I found it on my first go. Okay, so it doesn't look like I can currently get up there, but I don't think going up there is going to benefit me anyways. So I think we may have found our first bug. It looks like a ladybug. So let's just go ahead and capture you. Okay, so that was a ladybug. A common insect found in the spring. And then can I also take this flower? This is a dandelion. Okay. Um, maybe we'll just go ahead and go back this way. Because I believe a couple of the things that we just got are good for the museum. So I kind of want to see. I didn't notice this before. Okay, so this is a daffodil. Alright, so maybe we will go ahead and see... Kind of how the donation process is. Um, there's nobody else in this, like, narrow spot that we need to meet. So, we will, obviously, you know, focus on going ahead and meeting everybody else. Maybe I'll do that first. Mines, Western Ruins, Hayden's Farm, Beach. Okay. Well, there's one person down here that I haven't met. So maybe we will go ahead and see if we can go ahead and potentially catch up. I don't know. We'll have to just kind of like see if I can find them and hope for the best with that. But let's go ahead and head down this way. I'm trying to kind of like navigate the map. Oh, it looks like they moved. They're no longer like in the corner. So maybe it's better for me to go this way. And we can potentially run into them. I just have to kind of like know exactly where I'm headed. I don't think it's you, is it? No. Glad I bumped into you. Make sure you put anything you want to sell. Okay. So it wasn't you that I needed to meet because I met you yesterday. I am going to take this bug though. This is a petal hopper. Um, they are walking 
over this way. So hopefully we can kind of catch up to them. I don't know what the walking speed's like, but it seems to be okay. Who are you? Ahoy there. I'm Trithia, and who might you be? Ah, that looks great. Adeline mentioned her plan a while back. I didn't realize someone had taken her up on it. I run a little tackle shop out by the beach. I sell fishing rods and a small selection of freshly caught fish. Feel free to stop by. Okay. So that's one more person we have met. How many do we have left? Let me see. There's one. Two. Just two. Okay. We can do this. We can find two more people. I just have to kind of, you know, see where they're located on the map for me to figure that out. Okay, so there's nobody up there because that's a summit. Um... Where are we hiding that I am missing? Okay, so there's one over here and another down there. So they're off to the east, which I have not been over that way yet. So we're going to go ahead and discover a new part of the map at the same time by the seams of it. So let's go ahead and just head over this way, see if we can potentially, you know, find them and see how it goes and say hello. I'm not sure exactly who we are missing, but I'm going to take this at the same time. And can I do like a little hop across here? I don't think so. So I'm going to have to see if I can find a different route to get across here. Maybe that's just like a skill issue for me. Because I have not looked up if there's actually like a way to jump or not. So that could completely be on me. But I'm assuming there's probably a road over here anyways. So I'm not going to like stress myself out. It's just I know people are on the move. So hopefully this goes okay. Okay, so we found a bridge. So that seems kind of promising. We just have to see if we can find the two people that we have left. There's another bridge here. Okay, well, the one person appears to have left. The other person looks like they're up in the corner. So I think we're just going to have to give up on whoever left. We'll find them after and go find the person that is at least stagnant inside of a building. Am I going? No. Okay, we'll walk up here a little bit more. I'm gonna catch this butterfly, which apparently also goes into the museum. And that's also not the way to go. I need to continue walking up, but I am seeing some plants. So can I like take these? We have fennel and a wild leek. And then there's also a bug, which happens to be a little bumblebee. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue up here, and we can go ahead and go ahead and catch this bug too. Oh, do I not have room in my... Are my pockets full maybe? I don't think I can pick that one up because of that. So that's a little annoying. Is there a way for me to see what I have in my pockets? I feel like this probably is, but... I also realize it's like 9 o'clock at night and I kind of need to get a move on. So I think you. Hi there, my name's Landon. You must be the one at Lady Adeline. Oh, Lisa Julie, taking a lead. We sell everything from crafting stations, furniture, recipes. Okay. And then farm coming along. I mean, I've kind of spent most of my day looking around to see who I can find and meet. So it's not coming along all that well. Oh. Okay, so the last person we have to meet is up here, and it appears that they are currently with Adeline and Island. So at least we can go ahead and finish that quest, meet up with whoever we have left, and then immediately talk to Adeline right after anyways. Because I think we have to talk to her to finish the quest. So that might actually be a little bit beneficial. This is not the right building, it's one that looks like it's really big and fancy. So we are going to continue north and head up here and see this looks like a huge estate manor house okay are they in here oh i'm like interrupting the dinner oh my now who do we have here lisa that's a nice name 
My name is Elsie. I live at the manor house with my niece and nephew. The parents, the Baron and Baroness, spend most of the time in the capital. Uh, I once did too. What a great time. Spending time in Mysteria, you appreciate. Stop by for the chat, the latest gossip, and romantic advice. Okay, she seems kind of fun. I kind of like Elsie. You finished meeting everyone in town? That's wonderful. Congratulations on completing your first request. So we got some potato seeds and we got some money out of that. Um, I just want to make sure that like I talk to people. Oh, he gave us like a little like flower reaction. Now, I don't have space for the potatoes. So what am I going to do here? Um... Hmm. I don't know. I guess I could technically go ahead and eat this soup. Well, I could give it to someone, but I think I'm going to eat it. Then we can go ahead and pick up the potato seeds. Um, talking about changes in civic code. Very exciting might be overselling it. Ah, you just haven't had enough wine yet, Island. Go on, pour yourself another. Civic code really doesn't seem like that exciting of a conversation to me. But I think we are going to go ahead and maybe head back down to the farm. It is becoming 10.30 at night. So I think that's probably going to be the best idea for us. Just to kind of like navigate downwards and see if we can just like go to bed for the night. And then I'll probably wrap up this video because I feel like day one has been very long and I don't want to, you know, have everybody sitting here and watching like a video that could end up being, I don't know, like an hour and a half to two hours. So I definitely don't want to do that, but let's go ahead and open this. We can go ahead and sell a couple of the fish that we didn't need. Um, I actually might just sell like a few of these things. I know some of them are donated, but I also just kind of want to see like what the money system is like, and I'm assuming I can probably go ahead and get them again anyways. So let's just go ahead and maybe till a few spots here for the potatoes, and then we can go ahead and plant them, water them, and then go ahead and go to bed. I think that might be a good little step because then at least everything's planted on the same day and um I don't know I feel like that's all right I'm gonna move some of this stuff around in my inventory but we'll see you know how this goes I think we're doing okay I feel like that wasn't all too bad of a first day but I am going to go ahead and wrap this video up right here so we're going to go ahead and go to bed and we are going to save for the night. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, you can hit the like button down below. If you want to see some more videos from me, you can go ahead and subscribe. I post videos typically three to four times a week right now. If you are already subscribed and want notifications for when I post, you can go ahead and hit that bell down below. Looks like we have increased the town rank and we have a new reward available in the reward chest. Okay, cool. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I am enjoying this. Let me know if you want to see the rest of this. And I will see you all in my very next video. Bye, lovelies.